Now, Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, here we are starting January on a wet note. Uh, what does January usually bring with it? Well, not a lot of change. We're in the coolest one of the months here from December into January. And from the beginning of the month, our average, and this is 30 years of data averaged out, average low is 47 and high is 67. It only goes up a degree by the end of the month where we go up to 68 for the average high. On average, we pick up about an inch and a half of rainfall and we gain daylight. That's always nice, isn't it? We're going to see an extra 27 minutes by the end of the month. January for the first half of the month. Here's the 14 day outlook. You can see through the 16th of January. We're looking at a better chance of warmer weather here, although we could have a couple of cool days in there. Uh, warmer than average temperatures are more likely. It looks like the east is going to have a warm start to the month, while the west is going to be cooler than average. Rain it will be most abundant in the Ohio and Mississippi valleys, but for us, well, it doesn't look like we're going to see much. I don't see much rain all the way through next week in our forecast. As far as today's rain, we picked up a little bit, not a lot. About a half an inch was the highest total I saw in Flower Bluff, Jim Sautner reporting. Port Aransas with four tenths and Corpus Christi coming in with three tenths of an inch of rain since yesterday. We still have a little bit of rain coming down right now, but it's continuing to end. As you can see, the back edge of it is now going to ready to move through and now we just have a few showers left that will pull out of here and we're drying out this evening and overnight you can see the drier air approaching and that's going to lead to sunshine here for tomorrow so tonight with the clouds still around they'll be breaking up from west to east and you can see those lower temperatures tonight upper 40s in our western counties uh, lower 50s closer to the coast tonight winds shift by early morning tomorrow we have a cold front going through and that's going to shift our winds but it's not going to be colder. It's just going to be windy and drier. Take a look. Here's your hourly forecast. This is for tomorrow as we start the day in the lower 50s. And as we go through the afternoon, we warm back into those mid to upper 60s. So not a bad afternoon tomorrow uh, as we will see lots of sunshine. You can see a few clouds still early in the morning, but those clouds clear to sunny skies all afternoon long but it is going to be on the windy side. Those northwest winds pick up and you can see the wind speeds here uh, increase from 10 miles an hour at 8 in the morning. But by the time you get to noon, we're looking at 18 to 23 mile an hour winds tomorrow afternoon and they'll be on the gusty side. So tomorrow's highs are a little bit above average. Not a bad January day as we're looking mild and windy with lots of sunshine. The winds gusting as high as 30 miles an hour tomorrow. We have a cold front, but it doesn't have much cool air with it. And by the time it gets here, we're not going to notice it except for that wind shift. Like I mentioned, you can see the cooler air back here, but it's not Arctic. So that front's only making a minor impact in the temperature department here as it moves in. Right now, though, we still have some leftover showers from the upper level low, which is gradually pulling to the east. Those again will clear out as this comes in. There's our cold front and that will bring in some drier air with the northwest winds later tonight and tomorrow. Here's a look at future winds then. South winds now keeping it mild out there as we go overnight. We see by early morning tomorrow the winds shift around to the west northwest and that northwest winds going to pick up tomorrow. It'll be a little bit a little bit on the cool side if you're out in that breeze as those winds will be gusting up to 30 miles an hour at times, but they die down tomorrow night and with the clear skies and the lighter winds tomorrow night and Saturday morning are looking colder. It's going to be chilly to start your day Saturday, upper 30s, low 40s, but then the weekend is looking great with all the sunshine and light winds Saturday. It's a beautiful day to get outdoors. 68, a little warmer Sunday, but we'll have also a little more wind. Here's your seven day forecast. This is brought to you by AutoNation. AutoNation will purchase your car even if you don't purchase a vehicle from them. Shop now at the AutoNation lot near you. The next seven days look pretty mild actually, except the nights are going to be chilly. You can see they drop down to the low to mid 40s Friday night through Saturday night, but the days gradually warm up. And next week, Monday's the warmer day, and then we cool back down Tuesday, but it does look dry and fairly mild. We'll be back with more news right after this.